Hi y'all, today we're making kitchen sink soup. And what that means to me is that it, everything goes in it but the kitchen sink. And we're starting with this big pot and we're gonna put in four tablespoons of butter. And we're starting out by sauteing some onions. So we're gonna let this butter melt and we're gonna saute some onions. And this isn't really a recipe. Um, this is more like um, maybe a little cheerleading for um, think for yourself while you're cooking and just have a good time and just make it up as you go along kind of uh, so this is just um, my way of just showing what I do sometimes when I don't have a plan so I chopped up a medium onion here I didn't even try to make this look nice I've got some little pieces big pieces I just chopped it up however and uh, so I'm just gonna stir this around. I'm gonna cook the onions until they're translucent. Um, but uh, as you can see, they don't look pretty. They're just, uh, however, doesn't matter. Um, it's just kitchen sink soup. And so we're just gonna see how it turns out. I don't have a plan yet. I'm just uh, seeing where it goes. Um, I do know I'm gonna put uh, veggies in it and I'm gonna use ground turkey. And how I ended up with the ground turkey is that um, I went in my kitchen today and I thought none, nothing here looks good. Oh, I'm going to add in here some minced garlic. Uh, I got this garlic at uh, Dollar Tree. Can't say enough about Dollar Tree, so I wanted to give them that plug. I uh, love it. Everything there is a dollar and it's the best place to get the minced garlic. But anyway, um, I had some uh, round deer meat that an acquaintance had given me and I just really didn't want it eat that it just didn't appeal to me today and uh, my neighbor had some ground turkey that just didn't sound good to her I don't know why we talked about it but anyway so she gave me the ground turkey I thought that sounds good to put in this soup and so that's what I'm eating and she's having deer and we're both happy so um, there we go there's my turkey it's a one pound package of ground turkey and so I'm just uh, putting that in there now the uh, onions are done and so we're going to brown the turkey and uh, we'll get started on that right now and so just start thinking what you would put into your soup um, I'll start putting in some veggies in a minute when the soup when the uh, turkey's browned um, oh and I really wanted chicken stock to put in this I didn't even have any bouillon I was completely out of bouillon out of chicken stock because I just made chicken and dumplings maybe a week ago I hadn't picked any up yet so um, I had to be, get creative I thought what am I gonna do I need some chicken stock don't have any vegetable stock uh, don't have any broth of any kind uh, what am I gonna do and then I thought I know what I'm gonna do I have a can of soup that I've just uh, been overlooking um, and you're gonna see me add salt maybe three times today um, because uh, I uh, just worry about adding too much at a time so I added a little bit here to the turkey um, and uh, I'll add a little bit more later I taste as I go along with the soup um, I'll, I'll add a little bit more um, but anyway so um, I thought you know what I have that soup I don't really think it's the greatest soup but it's okay well I am I'm gonna put the soup in in a minute and uh, and I'm gonna admit it first oh wait here we go here's some uh, chili pepper paste uh, they they have this with your uh, in the refrigerated section in the produce section at your grocery store um, where they have the uh, herbs in the uh, plastic containers the fresh herbs and um, it's a little more expensive than just the regular spices but I love this uh, um, paste um, because it gives a little bit of heat, but it doesn't make things taste particularly spicy I like it in soups because if you put just the right amount it gives it that little hint of heat But nobody's going. Oh, this is so spicy. I don't want to eat it. It's spicy um, It just feels like that. It's very warm like temperature wise and it feels like it's a really hearty meal um, so with a soup uh, in particular um, so it's just I really really enjoy it so um, and I will you'll see me add a little bit more of that later uh, as well because um, uh, I do 
as I continue tasting as we go along. Um, but anyway, so I'm, I'm going to come back here with a can of, here it is, chicken noodle soup. <laughs> and uh, so it's going to look a little weird. And I started after, right after I did it, I thought, now I know this was a good idea, but it doesn't look great. And I thought it's really not going to look great in the video. Um, they're going to think I'm crazy. But uh, here, and here we go. It was a condensed soup. So here's the can of water that goes with it. And uh, so, and that was a really cheap soup too. It came from Dollar General Store. Uh, it was a Co Clover Valley, I think is the brand. That's their, uh, uh, their private label. And uh, so, it, you know, it's okay. But uh, anyway, I didn't have any chicken broth. And there we go. So chicken noodle soup did it. And so there's a little bit of noodles in there. And um, so uh, now we're just going to put in some potatoes. And um, I did something interesting with those. I put a knife down into the can and moved it across the can, picked, pulled it out, put it on the other side of the can, put it, put it across the can, and cut the potatoes while they were in the can. I thought I was being pretty clever, <laughs> and it worked out nicely. They were actually cut. You can't couldn't really tell there very well, but uh, they were cut. But anyway, there's some carrots. If anybody's keeping track of what I'm putting in, um, I'm not. But if you are, um, but again, it's not really a recipe. It's just an idea of what I'm doing, uh, and I am using all the the water, juice, whatever you want to call it, that's in with the veggies. It's all going in there, uh, so there's going to be a pretty good vegetable stock in the soup as well. Um, so, um, uh, and, and as you see, it keeps rising and you can tell more that that is a deep pot. Uh, while the turkey was cooking, it really just looked like a skillet, uh, from the camera angle, but now you can tell it really is a, a deep pot. Okay. And here's, what is this corn? Yep. Yeah, there we go. Corn. So lots of veggies, just whatever I see in the cabinet is going in. And I thought about putting in some rice and, you know, and I just really, I couldn't be bothered. That's one thing about kitchen sink soup too. You don't, you know, I, you don't have to put anything in particular in. Uh, you can just do whatever you want. And uh, I just thought, you know, I don't want to have to wait for the rice to cook. And, you know, it's going to take a long time. And, you know, how much do you want to put in? And I just thought, no, no, today we're just not going to do it. Now, here's a can of fire roasted diced tomatoes, and I love it because now even the off brands are starting to have their own fire roasted tomatoes, and they are so good. And that's what this is is, the, is a store brand from Aldi's, and they're very tasty. So, if you shop at Aldi's, try their uh, fire roasted diced tomatoes. And uh, I believe we're getting close to the, uh, uh, the end of the veggies there. There's some more salt. And um, uh, so I've tasted it there and realized we need some more salt. And I believe that we're probably going to need some more of that red pepper paste. And yeah, there we go. I need a little bit more of that. And see, I don't add a lot of these things at one time. Um, I just, you know, add just a little, see how it goes. Um, but uh, yeah, we need, and you do need to stir it well when you put that in. Um, but, uh, and I, but I do challenge you to try that because people won't realize that it's spicy. If you just a little bit, they really do think that it's heat with a soup. They think it's temperature. And that was black pepper that was just put in there. It's hard to, it was hard to tell there. Um, but anyway, we're coming up on the end of this. Thank you for sticking with me. It was a long video for not really a recipe, just more of a conversation about what I was doing. And here it is. And it turned out to be really tasty. So uh, good luck with this. Give it a shot. And uh, let me know uh, in a comment how it turned out if you tried it uh, and what you put in yours. Thanks for watching. And again, you've been in the kitchen with Dinah.